Hi guys, it's Justine, um, but you can call me Blondie. Welcome back to Fridays on my channel, which is when I do face Fridays. Um, last week for my first installment of this series, I talked about Beauty Bakery's um, foundation and their setting powder. So I thought I would just continue on with a bunch of other Beauty Bakery products um, and talk about some of their lip products that I've tried. The first are their matte whip, lip whips. Um, which I have three colors right here and then I also have their sugar lip scrub and their lip whip remover so um, I thought I would just do some like swatches and stuff talk about them when we get a little closer to the camera so when I bought these um, I can no longer find these sets on Beauty Bakery's website I bought them in February and I bought all five of these products the scrub the lip whip remover and the three liquid lipsticks um, together as a set and I saved a little bit of money um, but I cannot find any sets on their website so it must have just been like a limited time thing um, they might bring them back eventually I honestly have no idea but keep your eyes open because if these are something that if all of these products are something that you're interested in um, you might be able to buy them as a set and save a little bit of money so um, these are their lip whip mattes. They do have cream liquid lipsticks and they have metallic ones that are like this and they also have lip glosses. But these are their matte um, lip whips and I feel like these are one of the products that Beauty Bakery is very well known for because these things last forever. They do not come off like so much to the point that they had to come out with their own remover because people were not able to take these off um, with just normal makeup wipes. So I have three colors and the three colors that I have are all very similar but they are Bubblegum, Crisis, Surreptitious, and Versailles. So I'm gonna do a couple swatches on my arm, also do a couple swatches on my lip. So I'm gonna start off with arm swatches. So I'm gonna do Bubblegum Crisis first. And so I'm going to do, I'm going to swatch them before I describe them because honestly my descriptions would probably all be the same if I don't have them to compare to each other. Next I'm going to do Versailles. Um, just because like they're all that similar. And then last is Surreptitious. Okay, so I definitely feel I went from like lightest to darkest, so Bubblegum Crisis is definitely more of a pink, like a mauve pink, and then Versailles is like, it's kind of like a plum, like a plum nude, and then Surreptitious is, has like a little bit of plum, but it's also more on the brown side, so those are the three colors that I got, and when I bought them in this set, I was really into um, these kind of like purpley tone colors, like plum tone colors. And I was also leaning kind of towards, I was starting to get into more pinks because if you know me, um, I wear a lot of like very, very light nudes. And so these are a bit out of my, um, I want to say out of my comfort zone because I do wear them often, but they're a little different for me. Um, a little different than like my average day, what I wear. The one product I have not tried yet from this set is the Sugar Lip Scrub. So I'm going to go ahead and try that now. This smells phenomenal. It smells like actual frosting. The reason I haven't used it is because I just have like a lot of lip scrubs. And I try to use them up before I open a new one. So. I don't know if this is edible or not because you know like some lip scrubs you can lick off like the ones from Lush. But this tastes really good. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up on their website real quick and actually see. Ooh, they have new um, uh, flavors out, scents out. They have strawberry, maple syrup, peppermint, peach, and then vanilla. This must be the vanilla. They did not have different flavors out when I purchased these. Um, they retail for $12. And I just wanna see if I can lick it off. Okay, it does not say if you can lick it off or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use um, a lip whip remover 
to take it off just in case. Which the lip whip removers, by the way, these are um, $14. Now I'm just going to use a normal cotton pad. To get the oil from the lip whip remover off. And then the um, lipsticks are normally $20 each. So now we're going to actually swatch these on the lips. So I'm going to start off with Bubblegum Crisis. So as you can see, it's like kind of a pinkish nude. It has a little bit of pink in it. I feel like this is my personal favorite of the three just because it goes really well with my skin tone. And then um, I'm not going to let it dry down just so I can go ahead and swatch the other ones. But if I were to let this dry down, it would not come off. My daughter's actually gotten into these a couple times. Let me show you. You can see right there, there's a little lipstick specks on the lid um, which I can actually wipe those off with the lip whip remover and they will come off but my daughter has gotten into these and the lip whip remover was the only thing that took them off if you have like an oil based makeup remover um, or even if you use like baby oil or something you might be able to get this stuff off but um, normal makeup remover wipes do not work and trust me I have tried um, they do not work to get this off because this lipstick is going to stay in place all day um, Whether you're eating or drinking or whatever you're doing, it's not going to budge. So I'm gonna take the rest of this Remover and wipe it off but like I said it wasn't dried down completely So I feel like I'm not doing a true test of the lip whip remover and they are little cotton pads, by the way. For some reason, when I first bought this, I thought it was going to be like a balm. But they're little cotton pads in here. And so when this thing is all used up, you could reuse it. Like you could put your own cotton pads in there with like some essential oils, baby oil, a little bit of baby soap, and like make your own makeup remover wipes. Or you could to, um, put other stuff in there as well. Like if you make your own lip scrubs, that would be a good thing to put a lip scrub in. So now I'm going to wipe the oil off because it is an oil-based makeup remover. So I'm just using a normal cotton wipe for that. And then I'm going to put on some, yes, Versailles, which is the middle one. Like I said, that one's a little more plum. I messed up a little bit. I'm going to look in this mirror. Okay, I did not put it on the prettiest. Oh my gosh, this is such a pretty color for fall time. It kind of has like cooler undertones than Bubblegum Crisis does. I really like that for fall time, like cooler, cooler tones for fall. So I think like within the next upcoming months, I'm probably going to be wearing this one in particular quite a bit. I just think it looks so pretty. It does dry down pretty fast. Like just now when I popped my like that, it already feels like tacky. So it does dry down super, super fast. And they do look pretty drying on your lips, but like I don't think it's any more drying than a normal matte liquid lipstick um, looks. And also the lip whip removers, they have like zero scent, zero taste, zero anything. So if you're sensitive to scents, especially on something like makeup remover wipes, it's not going to like break you out or taste bad or anything like that. There are no scents in it. Um, and then the last one is surreptitious. Let me dry the oil up off my lips. That's another nice thing that I like about the lip whip remover is like at the end of the day when you're taking it off, it's going to leave a little oil on your lips, which is going to make your lips overall just feel a little hydrated. And then, like I said, this last one is surreptitious. And this one is the one that has like, um, it's almost like a brownie 
slightly warmer undertone. Ooh, that looks. Man, I cannot put lipstick on my viewfinder. Okay, and this is another one that's like nice and purpley for fall. And I really think that's how I would kind of classify it. If you're like the type of person like me and you wear like certain colors during certain seasons, um, Bubblegum Crisis is definitely like more of a summer slash spring color. And then Surreptitious and Versailles are more like fall winter colors. I really love this one too. It's a really pretty color. I did over, <laughs> I messed up as you guys saw, and so I overlined my lips a little bit, and so I kind of have like Kylie Jenner lips going on right now, but honestly, I'm not hating it. I used to overline my lips a lot. Like if you look at my videos from a couple years ago, like every video, my lips are, look bigger than they actually are. Um, then I stopped doing that, and I don't know, I kind of like it this time. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just wear this color for today, and so I'm not gonna take it off. Um, I think these swatches though, I've pretty much dried it down. I don't know if you can see. But they pretty much dried it down. So I'm just going to do a little, you know, test just to show you. I've got saliva on my finger. Like, they do not budge. Do you all see that? Like, they... Oh, well that time it budged, but that's because I was rubbing kind of hard. But then you get a little of the lip whip remover. And um, it helps it come off. So like the lip whip remover, if you don't have like any oil based makeup removers, or if you're used to just using plain makeup wipes to remove your makeup, um, the lip whip remover is something I highly, highly recommend. And you don't just have to use it for lips. You can use it for your full face of makeup. And I think next week I'm actually going to try out Beauty Bakery's mascara for you guys. And I will also try out how these wipes work on their mascara. Because they do have a waterproof mascara. Um, I bought it the same time I bought this stuff. But I never um, used it because I just have so many mascaras in my collection that I need to use up first. So definitely stay tuned for next week's Face Friday. I'm gonna try that out for you guys. And um, that is it for today's video. I definitely wanna buy these lip whips in more colors. Um, the three that I have are actually like perfect colors because they're all on the neutral side. So as far as like everyday wear and stuff go, these three are really nice for um, my skin tone. But I definitely want to try out some like more adventurous colors, like maybe a bright red or something. So that's it for today's Face Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye guys.